taking risks is something that you may be afraid of doing, but it will ultimately benefit you. Obviously, taking mindless risks could easily put you in harm's way. And as a result, those aren't the risks that I am referring to. What I am instead referring to are calculated risks. Going outside of your comfort zone and challenging your self-limiting beliefs head on. By taking risks, you push the boundaries of what you think you are capable of. This is why many people who lack self-confidence are also the same people who don't take calculated risks. People remain in their comfort zones out of fear. They are afraid that embracing discomfort will put them in harm's way and therefore they avoid risks entirely. However, what they don't realize is that overcoming their fears, taking on what they are afraid of head on makes them respect themselves more. By doing the same things over and over again, you only take yourself to the same places that you have already been before. In other words, by not providing yourself with the opportunity to overcome new challenges, you directly prevent yourself from improving. By risk taking being beneficial, I mean that trying new things is beneficial. People often view going outside of their comfort zone as risky, whether it be consciously or unconsciously. They think to themselves, what if I waste my time? What if I get embarrassed? What if I fail? People who give into self-limiting beliefs such as these, people who let these intrusive thoughts deter them from success are the same people who will remain mediocre, people who will unfortunately not reach their true potential. Even if you fail after taking a risk, the only real failure is quitting. Taking the risk in and of itself is a win because it will allow you to grow. That would be the opposite of a self-limiting belief. In a way, it is a self-improving belief. As well, instead of having self-limiting beliefs, visualize yourself taking a calculated risk and that risk ending up benefiting you. Positive visualization, just like the one I mentioned, will allow you to have less self-limiting beliefs and more self-improving beliefs. By risks, don't only continue to do things that you are already comfortable doing, but instead, do things that you are uncertain about. Start that business you've been wanting to start. Make that song you've wanted to make. Take advantage of your time and start exercising. Even if there's not a gym by your house, do home workouts. Push yourself physically and transform your body and mind. When you step outside of your comfort zone, you will likely feel like an imposter. And I'm not talking about an Among Us imposter. What I mean is that you will feel out of your element, like you don't belong, that you lack confidence because you feel like you have no clue what you are doing. That being said, over time, when you keep exposing yourself to that very risk, you will begin to feel more comfortable. Confidence largely comes from experience. And though taking on new challenges may seem daunting to you now, it will ultimately help you build self-respect. So instead of continuing to stagnate and do the same things over and over again, take risks, push yourself outside of your comfort zone and try something new. It will be uncomfortable when you start. Risk taking is by no means easy. The benefits of risk taking come from it being uncomfortable. Though taking more calculated risks may cause you discomfort when you start, that discomfort is the very thing that will allow you to grow. That's it for me, guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay awesome. We evolve together. If you enjoyed this video, you will certainly enjoy this one over here. As well, if you want to see more content from me, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload another high-quality self-improvement video. Become a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday, and become a better version of yourself tomorrow than you were today. And with that, I'm out.